Hey, what's going on? Welcome to my autopilot AI content strategy with WordPress. In this video, you're gonna learn three very important things. One, a unique keyword research strategy that I don't see many people using. Two, how I create AI content for those keywords. And then three, how I import and schedule that content into WordPress so that this all runs on autopilot. Now, as a bonus, you'll also learn my five minute playbook that I give to my virtual assistants to spruce up, fact check, and create a more engaging piece of content. And by the end of this video, you'll have your very own AI content machine that runs on autopilot for your business, laid out on a platter for you. So without further ado, let's hop into my computer and show you how this works. All right, so for this video, we're gonna be creating a batch of articles for a pest control client. And the way we're gonna do this keyword research is through Ahrefs. If you don't have Ahrefs, highly recommend buying it. Um, if not, you can skip to the next chapter in this video. You can see it in the YouTube chapters area. So what we're gonna do is type in yelp.com into the site explorer. The reason for that is because a lot of pest control and home services businesses, they're gonna to link to their Yelp profiles. And depending on what your niche is, just find a, a website where a lot of people in your niche are linking to it and then you can use this method. So we're gonna to go to referring domains and we're gonna do a couple of different filters here. So first off, we're gonna type pest. So pest must be in the domain name. We need the domain rating to be from zero to 15. And then we want the traffic to be at least a thousand people coming to the website a month. And the reason we're doing all these filters is basically what this is doing, filtering for only pest control websites that are low authority overall, but also are ranking for a few different things uh, on Google so that we can kind of compete with them on those different keywords. Next thing we're gonna do is put the domain rating to sort by the lowest. And you'll see here we have Fresh Pest. This is one of the first ones. So we're gonna to go to their top pages, but you can look at what keywords they're ranking for. So how to get rid of sugar ants in your kitchen or bathroom, how to clean mud dauber wasp nests. So these are both pest control related articles. We can create articles like that to compete with them. Now you can do this for as many um, websites as you want. Another way to get a lot all at once is to filter by traffic. So Romney Pest Control, we're gonna look at them. So I'm gonna just take a bunch of ideas from here and see what we can rank for. All right, so now I took five, 10 minutes and uh, just basically found a bunch of keywords and put them into full article titles that give the AI a little bit more context about what you're intending to write for this article. So for example, like this first one, what attracts bed bugs is actually a keyword, but maybe you wanna add in some extra context there for the AI to write a full article and give the AI a little bit more uh, context and direction. Same thing for this second one, where do bed bugs come from is really the keyword, but we wanna give the article a little bit more direction there as well. All right, so now that we're done with keyword research and we've turned those keywords into full article titles, now we can use Wordplay, which is AI content generator, to generate all the AI content for us. It takes two seconds. And now that we're logged in, we're gonna to go to title mode and just paste in all of the article titles that you had, write your project name and click submit. Now, after you click go, it takes a couple minutes, but you have all of your articles ready to go, already created with AI, literally in the click of a button. It's pretty crazy how quickly that works. Um, and we're just gonna download as HTML and title body. You can preview and edit them in here, but I like to do that in WordPress. And for the next step, you'll want to download the WordPress plugin and then go to your WordPress dashboard. And once you install that, you'll have this little WordPress plugin, it's pretty handy. And you can just go ahead, drag the CSV right over that choose file. And what we can do is put this as a post, a page, a custom post type, anything that you want. Um, I'm just gonna do a typical just post. And we're gonna go ahead and schedule this out so that it comes out once every 12 hours. And what this does is it gives us time to have our virtual assistant go in and spruce up the content, make it better, fact check it, and also just like optimize it for SEO. Doing the scheduled content is kind of what I like to do. Every 12 hours, 24 hours, that's usually what I roll with. And boom, it took like 15 seconds. All of those posts are created and imported into our post section. So now this is pretty insane. We essentially just did all of our keyword research, turned it into articles with full length, long form content, all within like three minutes. And now all of this stuff is scheduled to come out and basically runs on autopilot for the next, what, 24 days or how many article, however many articles this was. So it's, it's pretty insane how quickly you can see that this will add up and you can do this for a variety of different sites. Uh, just by using AI content. And now a quick point of warning is that you probably don't wanna just publish all of these without looking at them at all. Like you're gonna kind of end up screwing yourself and you might end up publishing uh, just content that like is not relevant or like somehow hasn't been fact checked. So there's a process that I like to do after I schedule this content out that I just give to my 
virtual assistants. And it basically takes them five, maybe 10 minutes per article uh, to just spruce up the article. And if you're just paying a virtual assistant overseas, like it's really not expensive at all. Okay, so with that said, here's the five minute process that we give to our virtual assistant to make sure that this content is ready to be published. And first thing we would do, tell them to fact check the important facts, especially if like the question or the article title is a question. So for example, this one, what is the lifespan of mosquito? We wanna definitely fact check that to make sure we're actually publishing correct information. Um, next, use Grammarly to find spelling mistakes and grammar mistakes. Three, add in line breaks to paragraphs to make the content more readable. So basically just making it a little bit longer, I'll show you how to do it in a second. And then add in call to actions, quick answers, and then optionally you can do surfer SEO optimization, uh, which we've started implementing in our business. So first, let me show you what the completed article will end up looking like, and then I'll go back and kind of show you how we made this happen. Basically, to back up, a lot of this is just based on the blog post template that you're using on your WordPress site. So make sure that you're, I personally like using Elementor. They have a bunch of cool blog post templates, and then I'll design it to make this a little bit better. So we have the title up here. We have a quick answer, which will help us get um, featured in the featured snippets on Google. And then as you roll out, you could see like, Okay, here's kind of what the article looks like. And then at the bottom, we have another call to action that's just based on the post template. And then these call to actions are actually just custom templates that we created as a section in Elementor. So uh, basically, if you're using Elementor, you can create a custom template and you can just copy the short code, put it directly within your article, and it's going to pop up as this call to action in there. So uh, that's just a quick little tip. Depends on like what your website is doing. Uh, for what that call to action would be. This would be to generate pest control leads. So that's why we would do this. Um, but yeah, that's generally it. And as we go through, basically we'll make this into more paragraphs. I already did this while I was not recording and we would wanna double check some of this stuff. And then some extra things you can do if you're familiar, this might be a little too technical for some people, but you can add in custom fields here, just using the ACF plugin and basically um, put in dynamic content. So the pe type of pest this article is about, and then um, that quick answer thing is all based on advanced custom fields. It's a bit above the scope of this video, but um, if you're familiar with advanced custom fields, that's something you could do with your blog posts to make this better. Um, so yeah, then I would just go through, read this, fact check it, make sure it's good, and basically follow these six things. And then if you have Surfer, what you can do is download the Chrome extension, just click this button and when you're logged in and you can create a content editor right within WordPress and optimize your content right within WordPress. So I, I find that really, really helpful if you're using Surfer on optimizing your content for SEO. And that's about it. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to check out WordPlay. We've tried to make it the easiest tool for SEO in terms of generating long form AI content so that your content strategy can like literally 20 X overnight with this tool. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, uh, make sure to comment below. Definitely give this video a like. And if you're looking for more AI content strategy, hit that subscribe button, click the like button, all that good stuff. Love you guys. See ya.